Hi, and welcome to a new B tutorial. B stands for Best Email Editor. That's not an arrogant statement. It's our goal. We want to create one of the best email editors around. And today we're going to show you how to create a quick footer inspired by this email from DC Shoes. They have this footer here at the bottom of their email that's really well organized, a nice black and white color scheme, um, great call to action buttons and links to social media, and it's a nice format that's actually mobile responsive as well. So let's go ahead and recreate it in B. This is the basic one column template that you'll see in B when you open it up, but really you can redesign this um, in any way that you'll need. So I'm going to start from scratch by going ahead over to the structure menu and I'm going to need this three column structure followed by a one column structure. The three column is for these three buckets of information and then the one column will be this fine text that stretches all the way across. So here we go pulling in the three column structure and then the one column structure. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove the rest of these containers since we're not building the rest of the email. can simply clear them out. And now we can get started formatting our sections just of the footer today. So as you can see, each footer has a header, a little divider, more text, and then either a CTA button or social media icons. So I'm going to create that structure by going over to the content menu and pulling those items in. So I need text, divider, text again, and a button. Text, divider, text, Actually, no text there, I think just, oh yeah, there is, and social media icons. So you can see it's really easy to just pull and drop things in here. We only need text along the bottom. So really quickly we have our basic structure and content placeholders set up. So now I can go ahead and customize all of this so it matches DC Shoes. All this. And obviously in your own footer you can customize this. Looks a little tight. I'm going to go ahead and widen the email. Between 500 and 600 pixels is a good standard and this looks a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and format the text. Line breaks much smaller size. And it looks like it's centered. And obviously I would link these. And up here, these are bolded and black. And the black that I chose before gets saved. So it's really easy to apply the same formatting as you go. This text is smaller. And I'll make them all two lines. Since this last one is two lines. Okay, coming along pretty well. These are all centered too. OK, 
Okay, now I can customize down here. And to change the CTA button, I'm going to go ahead over, choose black. And I'm going to make it wider. By bringing the border radius down to zero, it creates these really sharp edges as opposed to going all the way up, which would make really soft rounded edges. So to match the original, we'll go all the way down to zero. And then for social media, I'm going to choose this nice gray scale. And I'm going to get rid of Google Plus and add Instagram and YouTube. I'm going to space them out a little bit more. That looks good. Make sure it's center aligned. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is actually change the background color to gray. So all around the email is gray and these buckets are all white. So my row background will be a nice light gray. Content background will be white. This will be gray all the way. Okay, now to create the gray lines between each section, all I'll do is adjust the border around these buckets. So once I activate the row, we can see that there are the three columns that can each be customized. And there's an option to add a border. So I'm going to go to column two and add a border on the right and the left that's gray. Now we have that nice spacing. I'm going to make these dividers also be gray by clicking on them and selecting the gray line. Get a little thicker and I'm going to adjust the padding Tighten that up a little bit. And there we go. Pretty similar. You can also adjust the padding here if we want might be nice to remove a little bit from the top, bring that up. But really every item um, can be individually customized, so I can even go ahead and bring this down again. Could do this all day to get it really fine-tuned just the way we like it. But you get the idea. Have fun and create your own footer in B.